Greetings for the morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome again to our Everyday God Devotions. We're taking our inspirations from the book of Acts, chapter 23, verse 16. And I want to share with you today a devotional message that emphasizes the significance of bravely living out our faith. In Acts chapter 23, verse 16, it says, But when the son of Paul's sister heard of his plot, he went into the barracks and told Paul. We see the apostle Paul, who was arrested and placed in a dangerous situation. When word spread, when word spread among the religious leaders that a gang of men were trying to kill him, Paul's nephew chooses to notify of the danger. He takes decisive action, rushing to the barracks where Paul was imprisoned and notifying him about the plot to kill him. This young man demonstrated extraordinary bravery and compassion for his uncle, demonstrating that even in the face of extreme risk, we must speak up for what is right. As Christians, we have been called to live openly and bravely for our Lord. Just like Paul's nephew, he sacrificed his own safety to protect his uncle. We must be willing to move outside our comfort zones and face the challenges that arise. This is crucial not only in times of physical burial, but also in our daily lives. When we face situations that uh, put our faith, our character, and dedication to Christ to the test. Living out our faith with bravery entails standing steady in the face of hardship. Relying on the Lord's strength and guidance. It entails standing out for justice and defending the oppressed. It also involves lending a helping hand to the underprivileged and demonstrating compassion to those in need, regardless of the repercussions or whatever it takes. It, in also, it also involves having our behaviors reflect Christ's love and boldly proclaiming the good news to those who do not yet know Him. Indeed, dear brothers and sisters, living our faith bravely may result in obstacles. Yes, there is opposition or even persecution. But when we follow the footsteps of the early disciples and Paul himself, we can rest assured that our Lord is always with us. His promise in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 echoes down the ages. Have I not commanded you? Be powerful and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Let us keep in mind that living our faith alone in the comforts of our homes is not what it is meant to be. Brother, let us boldly and fearlessly venture forth in faith to spread the love and teachings of Jesus Christ throughout our community and beyond. And finally, the verse from Acts chapter 23 verse 16 today serves as a reminder of the significance of boldly expressing our faith. We should be motivated by Paul's nephew who spoke and, and did so without fear in order to defend his uncle. May we all have the same level of courage in our faith, fearlessly facing whatever obstacles or resistance that may arise. As we proceed, let us not forget that we have a magnificent God who is by our side the entire time supporting and directing us. Thank you and may you have a blessed day walking bravely in your faith.